హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ వెల్కమ్ టు ద ఛానల్ ఇగ్నూ డిఎన్హెచ్సి ఆన్లైన్ క్లాసెస్ మై సెల్ఫ్ డాక్టర్ ఆయూషి టిల్ నౌ వీ హ్యావ్ కంప్లీటెడ్ బ్లాక్ వన్ ఆఫ్ డిఎన్హెచ్సి వన్ నౌ వీ విల్ స్టార్ట్ విత్ బ్లాక్ టూ బేసిక్ కాన్సెప్ట్స్ ఇన్ న్యూట్రిషన్ పార్ట్ సెకండ్ దిస్ ఇస్ ద బుక్ ఇట్ కంటైన్స్ త్రీ యూనిట్స్ let's start with the first one that is unit 4 the micronutrients part 1 vitamins today's topics are introduction fat soluble vitamins water soluble vitamins and at last questions of this unit introduction micronutrients are those substances which are required in small quantities by the body there are two micronutrients vitamins and minerals Vita part of the word vitamin means life. Vitamins are vital and essential for life and health. Major functions of vitamins are regulation of metabolism, helps in the growth and maintenance of our body and protect against diseases. Vitamins are organic compounds and are present in minute quantities in food. But this does not mean that there is a need of vitamin pills to meet our needs. We can meet our requirements for vitamins by consuming the right types of foods. Vitamins are divided into two categories, fat soluble vitamins and water soluble vitamins. Fat soluble vitamins are those vitamins which are soluble in fats. Its examples are vitamin A, D, E and K. And water soluble vitamins are those vitamins which are soluble in water. Its examples are vitamin B complex consisting of vitamin B1, B2, B3, B9, B12 and second one is vitamin C. So let's start with fat soluble vitamins. These are vitamin A, D, E and K. These vitamins are present in food in close relation with fats. Fat soluble vitamins after being used for specific functions The excess amount of these vitamins is stored in the body. Vitamin A also known as retinol. Food sources are animal origin, milk, butter, ghee, egg, fish and especially liver oils of fish. Plant food do not contain retinol, but they do contain certain orange or yellow colored pigments called as carotenoids which can be converted to retinol in the body. Carotenoid pigments are precursors of vitamin A. The word precursor refers to a substance which can be converted to the vitamin in the body. Beta carotene is the most widely distributed carotene in plant foods. Most of the yellow and orange color of vegetables and fruits is due to this carotenoid pigments. Fruits like mango, papaya and vegetables like carrot and pumpkins are rich in beta carotene. Green leafy vegetables also contain carotenoid pigment but the color of the carotene is masked by the presence of another pigment called chlorophyll which is green in color. Next is absorption of vitamin A. Vitamin A is ingested in the form of retinol or carotene. After absorption from intestinal cells, retinol forms a complex with fat containing particles called chylomicrons. and then is taken to the blood stream carotene is absorbed in same way as retinol after absorption carotene is converted to retinol in the cells of the small intestine storage retinol is transported by blood to the liver as part of the chylomicrons approximately 90% of total absorbed vitamin is stored in liver and remaining 10% is distributed to the other organs Presence of bile and fats greatly aids in vitamin A absorption and proteins helps in its transport from liver to other body tissues. Functions of vitamin A. Maintaining normal vision. It plays an important role in maintaining normal vision. Retina of eyes has two kinds of cells, rods and cones. You can see this structure of eye in the book. Both rods and cones are sensitive to light. but they react differently and perform different functions rods are sensitive to dim light and cones respond to bright light there is a pigment called rhodopsin in co- in rods which is formed by combination of a specific form of vitamin a and a protein 
when exposed to bright light this rhodopsin breaks down into its components and when in dark these components that is vitamin a and protein again combine to regenerate rhodopsin so rhodopsin helps us to see in dim light next is supporting growth vitamin a is essential for growth of the skeleton and soft tissues due to deficiency of vitamin a bones do not grow to their full length and overall growth of the body is affected protecting against diseases vitamin a plays an important role in keeping epithelial tissues moist and healthy without vitamin a the skin and the inner walls of digestive tract and lungs will become dry and cracked this makes it easy for the germs to enter and cause diseases next is vitamin d vitamin d is also called the sunshine vitamin try to remember the other names of all the vitamins so why is vitamin d called sunshine vitamin because it is manufactured from a substance present in our skin on exposure to sunlight so as a result of this we do not necessarily have to depend on dietary sources of vitamin d we can easily obtain vitamin d through enough exposure to sunlight food sources of vitamin d foods which contain vitamin d are eggs liver butter and fish liver oils foods of plant origin do not contain vitamin d absorption and storage vitamin d is absorbed along with fats from the small intestine since bile is essential for effective absorption of fats therefore for proper absorption of vitamin d bile is necessary after absorption vitamin d enters the blood stream as a part of chylomicrons vitamin d formed in skin on exposure to sunlight also enters the blood stream vitamin d is then taken to the liver some of it is stored there and the remaining is distributed to the blood to various body tissues functions vitamin d makes bones healthy and strong as we know that minerals like calcium and phosphorus when deposited in the bones make them strong and hard the process of deposition of minerals in the bones is termed as mineralization of bones vitamin d aids the process of mineralization in two ways firstly by increasing the absorption of calcium and phosphorus and secondly by helping in the deposition of calcium and phosphorus in bones vitamin e food sources which are rich in vitamin e are vegetable oils like groundnut soya cotton seed etc other good sources are whole grain cereals dark green leafy vegetables pulses nuts and oil seeds foods of animal origin are low in vitamin e but foods like egg yolk butter and liver contain some amount of vitamin e absorption and storage absorption of vitamin e requires presence of fat and bile after absorption from upper part of small intestine vitamin e is carried to liver through the blood stream and then it is distributed to various body tissues almost all the body tissues have a small amount of vitamin e but it is mainly stored in muscles and adipose tissues function main function of vitamin e is protection it protects other substances like unsaturated fatty acids vitamin a and c it prevents their destruction in the body as well as in the food next is vitamin k this is last fat soluble vitamin food sources of vitamin k plant foods green leafy vegetables like spinach cabbage lettuce are rich sources of vitamin k animal foods such as egg yolk milk and organ meat and vitamin k is also manufactured by certain helpful bacteria which are normally present in small intestine approximately half of the vitamin k needed by us gets manufactured in the intestinal tract and the other half is obtained from animal and plant foods absorption and storage since vitamin k is also fat soluble vitamin so it does require bile for absorption after absorption from the upper part of small intestine the vitamin is distributed to various body tissues 
Vitamin K is stored in very small amounts in the body and its concentration is not high in any particular tissue. Functions of Vitamin K Vitamin K plays an important role in clotting of blood and is therefore termed as anti-bleeding vitamin. How does Vitamin K help in blood clotting? It helps in the formation of a protein called prothrombin which in turn is essential for blood clotting. Water soluble vitamins Vitamin C and vitamin B complex group are known as water soluble vitamins because they are soluble in water. We have seen that fat soluble vitamins can be stored in body but this is not so with water soluble vitamins. They cannot be stored in our body. The excess amounts of these vitamins is excreted from the body in the urine. Vitamin B complex group This group consists of vitamins which are similar in functions. Vitamins of B complex group include thiamine, riboflavin, folic acid, niacin and vitamin B12. They usually occur together in foods. These B vitamins act as coenzymes and help in the metabolism of carbohydrates, proteins and fats. What are coenzymes? Coenzymes are substances which are needed by enzymes to do their job effectively. They can be considered as the helpers of a specific enzymes. In fact, these enzymes cannot function in the absence of their specific coenzymes. Thiamine or vitamin B1 Food sources of vitamin B1 are whole grain cereals, whole pulses, lean meats, poultry and egg yolk. Absorption and functions of vitamin B1 After ingestion, thiamine is absorbed and enters the bloodstream. It is utilized to perform several important functions. Excess amounts of thiamine is excreted in the urine. Function Thiamine plays an important role by forming a part of a specific coenzyme and its role is in the burning or oxidation of glucose to produce energy. Riboflavin or vitamin B2 Food sources are milk, liver, kidney, eggs, green leafy vegetables. Apart from this, whole grain cereals and pulses also contain fair amount of vitamin B2. Absorption and functions After ingestion, riboflavin gets absorbed in the upper part of small intestine into the bloodstream and is taken to the various body tissues to perform specific functions. Then, the excess amount of riboflavin is excreted in the urine. Function Riboflavin plays an important role in the metabolism of carbohydrates, fats and proteins. It forms part of two different coenzymes which help to release energy from the end products of digestion of carbohydrates, fats and proteins. Next is Niacin. Food sources are meat, fish, poultry, cereals, pulses, nuts and oil seeds. Milk is rich in tryptophan which is an amino acid. The tryptophan present in milk protein can be converted to niacin in the body. Function Niacin is a part of coenzyme which helps to release energy from the end products of digestion of carbohydrates, fats and protein. Thus, it helps in their metabolism. Folic acid Food sources are green leafy vegetables and organ meats. Other foodstuffs like whole grain cereals, pulses, eggs and dairy products are also good sources of folic acid. Absorption, Storage and Function After absorption, folic acid is taken to the various body tissues through the bloodstream for specific functions. Some amount of folic acid is stored in liver. Under normal circumstances, the body stores of folic acid are sufficient to meet the requirements of the body for several months, even if no folic acid is available through the diet. Function of folic acid is blood formation. Blood has three kinds of cells, that is, red blood cells, white blood cells and platelets, which are suspended in a fluid called plasma. Folic acid is important for proper development of red blood cells. Vitamin B12 or Cobalamin 
इट इज प्रेजेंट ओनली इन फूड्स ऑफ एनिमल ओरिजिन लाइक लिवर किडनी मिल्क एग्स एंड सी फूड्स प्लान फूड्स डू नॉट कंटेन दिस विटामिन विटामिन बी ट्वेल्व इज ऑल्सो सिंथेसाइज इन आर बॉडी इन इंटेस्टाइनल ट्रैक्ट बाय सर्टन हेल्पफुल बैक्टीरियाज एब्जॉर्बन विटामिन बी ट्वेल्व कैन ओनली एब्जॉर्ब इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ ए स्पेसिफिक केमिकल सब्सटेंस कॉल्ड इंट्रेंसिक फैक्टर This substance is secreted by the cells of stomach. So, vitamin B12 combines with intrinsic factor and is absorbed from small intestine. Bacteria present in intestine can also produce vitamin B12, but this cannot be absorbed without intrinsic factor which is found only in stomach. Hence, the vitamin B12 produced by bacteria is excreted from the body through feces. A body requires vitamin B12 in very small amount which could be met by consumption of even small amount of animal foods like milk which can take care of vitamin B12 needs of the body Functions of vitamin B12 B12 is necessary for the proper functioning of digestive tract nervous system and bone marrow In bone marrow B12 is involved in the formation of red blood cells Vitamin C this is last vitamin Vitamin C is also called ascorbic acid and it is also termed as fresh food vitamin This is because fresh fruits and vitamins are its major sources Sources of vitamin C are fresh citrus fruits like orange lime and lemon and fruits and vegetables like guava amla papaya green leafy vegetables etc Root vegetables like potato and sweet potato contain small amount of vitamin C if they are consumed in large quantities. Animal foods do not contain or even if they contain it's in little quantity. Absorption. Ascorbic acid is readily absorbed from digestive tract like the other vitamins and then distributed to various body tissues. organs and glands like spleen bone marrow liver pancreas kidney and retina of eye have a high concentration of ascorbic acid functions of vitamin c wound healing vitamin c plays an important role in the formation of a protein called collagen the formation of collagen at site of wound or injury and this aids in its healing dealing with stress Ascorbic acid plays an important role in the release of two hormones epinephrine and norepinephrine these hormones help the body to deal with stressful situations stresses of infections and injury absorption of iron iron is an essential component of red blood cells vitamin c aids absorption of iron by converting it into a more suitable form for absorption protecting certain substances from destruction vitamin c protects certain substances like vitamin a and unsaturated fatty acids from being destroyed so here we have completed unit 4 these are questions from this unit go through these questions and you can take screenshot or note it down in your notebook and also go through the questions given and check your progress exercise because they are important from exam point of view whatsapp and telegram groups link are in the description in next video we will study unit 5 minerals